Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, uh, we'll be doing the review for the Geo Fiber. In fact, I got this about a week ago. In fact, I opted for two connections, one for this office, one for my uh, home. And in fact, even my cousin actually took this. So we have actually uh, three connections. So I'm going to share my experience, what I liked about it. And there are some unique uh, things that I have discovered and I would like to share with you. And in fact, uh, uh, regarding the cost, uh, actually the commercial rollout of this Geo Fiber hasn't been been done so it's on trial basis so monthly there is no bill but uh, to get this installation you have to pay 4500 rupees and you get this uh, router with it and the installation uh, in fact uh, there is no monthly uh, bill as of now uh, they said uh, to me at least for the next three months it'll be free and when the commercial rollout will come then there'll be a monthly fee whatever as of now uh, though it's a fiber the speeds are capped up to 100 megabits i'll show you all that i've done tons of speed tests uh, but after the commercial rollout they said that you can opt for speeds as high as one gigabit so let's have a closer look at this geo giga fiber so let me actually show you this is the fiber box as you can see this fiber uh, goes and connects to this this is a geo uh, router box and as you can see right now it's connected it shows this in green color that means everything is active it's working it can also glow in red color and stuff so that you know if there is any issues or something it can also blink and all these things and as you can see this is the geo uh, router itself in fact this is the same model that actually i showcased a video about two years ago it's the same as you can see from the back we have the wps button the power adapter goes this is the fiber cable as you can see this goes in over here we also have a telephone port so maybe later stage uh, geo can actually provide telephone services also there are rumors that geo will also come out with cable that will use this and we also have three physical ethernet uh, ports these are gigabit so you can connect wired computers or anything that you have and apart from that we also have two USB ports and this is a actually a dual band Wi-Fi uh, router that means it supports both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band. So guys let me also show you the fiber points in our building as you can see one box is over here and all the fibers are that are going uh, the connections are from here as you can see three are going and as you can see we can give up to eight and actually we have two boxes one is over here like this and the other is actually over here as you can see this one has a lot more ports so again uh, you, all the fiber goes from this and again this is not powered no electricity is actually required but the good thing is that every connection you get that individual fiber directly to your home so again you need this uh, because that's the reason that geo fiber is not there in a lot of buildings that in fact about uh, next building to us uh, there is no geo fiber maybe their society didn't give them the permission to install this one so guys now as you have seen the box uh, the fiber cable and etc uh, what is the experience let me talk about that and let me actually divide it between the pros and cons what i like and what are the things that i did not like and uh, you might have to spend a little bit extra also apart from this for example uh, the good thing i like is it's actually fiber to home so you're getting the direct fiber to your home unlike many cable providers that give you a ethernet cable or a copper cable a fiber has a lot more bandwidth so uh, in fact uh, during the last one week I never had a problems about our uh, speed both the download speeds and the upload speeds were close to the 100 megabit in fact I was ranging for about 93 to 95 megabit I'll talk about the speeds later on because again the speeds will uh, differ a lot based on which band of Wi-Fi you're using if you're using Ethernet you'll get the rated speeds about 94 95 megabit but on Wi-Fi it will vary a lot depending on 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz uh, and also so I like the router what they have given uh, essentially the router is actually a good one it has dual band Wi-Fi that is 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz and also the LAN ports though they are just three LAN ports are actually gigabit so actually the router that you are getting is actually pretty good I'll talk about the, some of the cons uh, that I've noticed later on and I like the fact that you can also download the MyGeo app on your smartphone and from that you get all the details about your connection how much bandwidth that you have used how much is limiting recharge of vouchers and stuff so it's a central app that does a lot also in the future geo might give us cable television via this box it's a, there might be extra box that you attach to this so even cable and potentially even phone services can be given because we have a phone port we don't know a lot about the phone port uh, will they give uh, telephone service but the geo 
uh, installation uh, guy that came said that yeah uh, the tv services might start uh, uh, soon after the commercial rollout so that is also an um, uh, important thing and if they can price it really well uh, let's say uh, because the guy that came for installation was telling the minimum plans might start with about 500 rupees per month and uh, yes obviously it will have the broadband with that we don't know the speeds and data caps uh, but uh, if they also bundle cable with that then it can be a really good deal because with dth and stuff easily you can pay about 500 600 rupees with this if they start the basic service at 500 rupees with that cable service and broadband included then it can be a really good deal and now talking about the data there's a lot of misconception about it uh, even on the pamphlet uh, what they give it's a trial service as of now commercial hasn't rolled out they just say 100 gigabytes of data per month that is actually not true in fact you get 1.1 terabyte that is 1100 gb of data per month the thing is that by default only 100 gb is sort of enabled and the rest you have to uh, they have this free top up of 40 gigabytes uh, of 25 that is about 1000 uh, gb so add that 1000 gb plus uh, that 100 so it's about 1.1 terabyte of data per month uh, that you'll get at 100 megabits and after that will down, uh, downgrade to about one megabit so you have a lot of data but again you have to manually uh, go into that app and actually enable those vouchers after that 100 gigabytes of data that might be okay for you and me as a tech savvy user this also comes in a con but for a lame user or who's not very advanced for let's say my parents they don't care you just plug it in those uh, guys might not be able to figure out how to do the data vouchers or do them manually so they might be stuck at 100 gigabytes but yeah technically uh, it is actually 1.1 terabytes of data that you're getting per month now let's look at some of the cons that i have noticed with this one in fact in terms of routing i've noticed that the pings are not that great it ranges anywhere i was doing a lot of speed tests ranges anywhere between like 30 milliseconds to as high as 60 milliseconds so again geo needs to improve their routing because with fiber i was expecting way low pings about 5 to 10 milliseconds but as of now i feel the routing is not very robust also this is not applicable to most of the home users or it, uh, if you're not so super advanced user but one limitation that i found with this one is that uh you're not getting a proper public ip when you connect to the internet via this it's actually a natted address for example uh, the ip address that you get with this one from the outside world you cannot ping to it yes it does have ip6 but even the ip6 address i was not able to ping it from outside so for example if you're sort of very advanced user who wants to host a server or something like that and want to be reachable from outside then that might not be possible or also as of now port forwarding etc is not possible maybe they'll enable these services uh, when it goes commercial but as of now you can't even opt for if you want to pay extra and get a uh, fixed public ip address that is not possible maybe they'll enable these services after it goes commercial but as of now that is a limitation i know a very small percentage of users might like to host some servers and stuff but as of now it's not possible with this connection because it's double natted and it's behind the geo firewall um, now moving to uh, this might be uh, the most important thing I mean, I really like the fact that it has both the 2.4 gigahertz and the faster 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band and again as you can uh, see again I did multiple tests uh, this uh, what do you say Samsung A50 I kept it on 2.4 gigahertz band and the iPhone was on the 5 gigahertz band and consistently I was getting way faster speeds on the 5 gigahertz band so if you want to really take advantage of those high speeds you really need devices that support 5 gigahertz band modern smartphones high-end support that and even modern Modern laptops do that but many of the mid-range and the budget range phones simply won't support the 5 gigahertz band so again even though you are having this high speed connection of 100 megabit uh, your speeds uh, if you're using a mid-range or a low-end phone uh, it'll be on the 2.4 gigahertz band and you will not get very high speeds um, the 5 gigahertz band I was very very pleasantly surprised with this one in fact the range that I'm getting on the 5 gigahertz band is actually pretty decent considering uh, this router and the price overall of this uh, in fact the speed i was getting getting even in the next room was good as you can see this speed test i did in fact this is two rooms away and i didn't expect at five gigahertz to get this good speed but close to about 88 89 uh, megabit we were able to test the so five gigahertz band is actually really good but the problem is with the regular 2.4 gigahertz band and again guys as i've told you i have two connections and my cousin also has this uh, this one that we have in the office 
the 2.4 gigahertz band is giving us decent results even after two rooms the speeds we were able to get about 25 to 30 megabits but uh, again my uh, cousin's uh, connection uh, on uh, his 2.4 gigahertz band we were not able to get speeds more than 15 to max of about 18 megabits even in the next room so again i feel there is some sort of quality control the other connection that i have uh, in my home uh, that's a different router i would say that is giving me slightly better speeds about 25 to 30 megabits even on the 2.4 gigahertz band but for my cousin's uh, router on the 2.4 gigahertz band he is not able to get very good speeds that brings me to the point that there might be some quality control issues with these units the one that i have in the office is the best second i would say is my home uh, one that also gets decent speeds but my cousin's uh, uh, or router on the 2.4 gigahertz band was not giving him very good speeds even if he just moved to the second room the speeds were dropping to about 15 megabits so there is some quality control issue uh, 5 gigahertz band luckily on uh, for him was working great and he was able to get about 90 megabit but the 2.4 gigahertz band which might be used by most of the people i would say because 5 gigahertz band only some of the advanced uh, devices and high-end devices support most of them will support 2.4 and there I found uh, that you might get a router that might not have a lot of uh, range on the 2.4 gigahertz band. In fact, I was reading some forms and many people were complaining. So yes, definitely there might be some quality control issues. And uh, if you have that, then you might have to actually uh, put a Wi-Fi extender to extend the range. In terms of range, what I'm getting, I would say if you have a typical flat about 1500 square feet, uh, I place this router uh, uh, in the central location of the flat and it's able to cover actually almost the entire flat. But again, uh, I know many people, in fact, my cousin did that. He placed the router on one corner of the house. If you do that, then it might not give you the full coverage for your flat and you would have to actually offer uh, Wi-Fi extenders and stuff. So as of now, I'm overall satisfied with the service. Yes, you have to pay an initial deposit of 4,500. Land says that this is a sort of a security deposit, refundable deposit. Let's say after two months, you don't like this and you give it back. They say that they will refund. So essentially, as of now, the service is free uh, and you get that technically about 1.1 terabyte of data per month. But again, those uh, after that 100 gigabytes, you have to uh, manually go into that MyGeo app and do those top ups. So if you can do that, I feel it's a really great connection. In terms of speed, as I've told you, I didn't have any problem. I was uh, hovering always speeds of about 93 to about 95 megabit if I was testing it on a wired connection or on a five gigahertz Wi-Fi band. But again, if you have a lot of 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi devices and uh, you move away from the router, let's say even the next room, the speeds can realistically drop to about 20 megabits and you might have to invest in Wi-Fi extenders. So guys, overall, I'm really liking the connection. Let's see what will be the commercial plans when it rolls out, uh, what will be the data caps and stuff. That is the most important thing. And we'll know that only after the commercial launch. So anyways, guys, this was my review of this Geo uh, Giga Fiber. Uh, if you have uh, any other questions regarding this one, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.